Hey there, today I'm going to introduce you our modulating ball valve. When we say modulating valve, generally we mean to control the opening angle of the valve by inputting voltage signal or current signal. Uh, as for this actuator, we use 4 to 20 milliampere current signal as input signal to control the valve. Now I'm going to show you how to control the valve manually. When the valve is in the signal control mode and there is no input signal, and off will display on the screen. So we need to switch from the signal control mode to manual control mode by pressing the set button here. When there are zeros flashing, it means we can control the valve manually now. Hold the button in the middle down to open the valve, release the button to stop the opening, and leave the valve wherever between 0 to 90 degrees. And the button on the right side is for closing. Press it to close, release it to stop the closing. The number on the screen is the percentage the valve is opened, from 0 to 100%. Now it's 38% open. This is how much it just got opened. Okay, keep on pressing. As you can see, you can stop wherever between 0 to 90 degrees. Just release the button to stop. One hundred percent is fully opened. Okay. No, let's close it. Keep the right button pressed. Stop at any angle. This is how much it just got closed. Okay, zero, zero, zero. The web is fully closed now. Now I'm going to show you how to control the web remotely by 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Zero is flashing, it's still in the manual control mode. Let's switch to signal control mode. Okay, off here means there is no input signal yet. Uh, this is a signal gen generator. It can output 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Off here means there is no output signal yet. Press the output button. It's on. And the valve just got opened already. 4.6.4% Okay, keep on pressing Okay, let's just price it all the way to 20 milliampere Now it's 100% opened. Now let's close it.
uh, trap is in the middle of four to twenty, so the web is about fifty percent open. Four mini app here. Zero zero. Fully closed. Uh, let's see how the web is wired to the generator. The web has five wires, two for power supply. Uh, the power supply can be DC twenty four volts, DC twelve volts, and for the other three. The black one is for the common end of the generator. The red one is for inputting signal to the valve. And uh, the red one is for receiving the feedback signal from the valve to the generator. So the valve can not only receive signal to open or close the valve, but also output signal for real-time monitoring the position of the valve. This actuator is based on the CTF001, uh, but CTF001 has an output torque of 10 newton meter, but this one, the output torque is 6 newton meter. So this is pretty much about it.